Hi, my name is Daniel Douglas with D3 Technologies and in this video I'm going to talk about contact sets and joints. So we're going to build this model, or this little assembly, right here. Here's an exploded version of that assembly. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move these pins into position. I am going to use the align command to move my components into position so that I can create the joints. I'm going to select my first object, the one I want to move. I'm going to select the surface area on the outside of the cylinder. And then I'm going to select my second, the location I want to go to, the surface area on the inside of that cylinder. Excellent. Now it's in location. I'm going to use the move command. And I'm going to put myself right there, just in the, right in the middle. All right, I'm going to repeat that process. Now that I have those two pins in position, I'm going to create as-built joints with them. My first joint I'm going to select the components involved and I'm going to have a rigid joint here. Say OK. I'm going to repeat that command. And now it's fixed. I'm going to repeat this process. And now that these pins are essentially glued into this mount. Next I want to put these gears on these pins. So I'm just going to use the joint command. I'm going to select the component to be moved. I'm going to select the inside of that cylinder. Then I'm going to select the cylinder that I want to pair it with. A little bit enough to be in a good spot. And I now have a Revolut joint. I can drive it. Next I want to place my small spur gear. Use the joint command. We're set to go. Go hide it. You can see that there's an interference between these two gears. I'm going to change the angle of this gear so that there's no longer any interference. But you see if I rotate it, it just goes freely. Now I could have used I could have used a motion link for the joints, but then the rotational speed would be the same for both gears and that defeats the purpose of having gears. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a contact set. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to hit enable contact sets. Now I'm going to go up to this new little tab here where it says contact sets and I'm going to create a new contact set. Now it just wants two bodies. We're just going to select these two. It's as simple as that. Press OK. So let's drive this joint. Look at that. Very nice. And there you have it. Let's make that visible. Alright, I hope that was useful and informative. Have a nice day.